welcome back to my channel. If you are new here or do not know me, never seen my face before, my name is Aubrey Jubert and that's pretty much it. Before we get into the video, just like to mention Mock Squad merch is out. Has been out for a while, but it's out. The back looks like this. Yeah, this is a crew neck. You should totally get it. Comes in lots of sizes, different colors. There's a hoodie, there's a long sleeve t-shirt. There's a phone case. Link is in the description. Go get yourself some Mock Squad merch, okay? Anyway, no one likes a long intro, so let's just get right into this video. Any day that I do wear makeup, I do like to start with moisturizer, even though I don't show it on camera all the time, which I should, because that is one of the most important parts of my makeup routine, and I think it should be part of everyone's makeup routine. Since we are doing a glowy look, I'm going with the Glam Glow Nude Glow Illuminating Moisturizer from Glam Glow, <laughs> obviously. When I put this on, I'm getting about this much and I'm going to go everywhere but my most oily spots. I do have combination skin more towards towards the oily side. So around my T-zone, around my nose, my forehead, and my chin do get really oily really quickly. So I'm going to avoid moisturizer in those spots. So I'm using most of the moisturizer on my cheeks, on the outsides of my face, and then when I have nothing on my hands but still that residue, I'm just gonna lightly go over the oiliest parts of my face, just so it does have that moisturizer, but not overwhelmingly too much to mix with the oils to make it oily later on. Okay, so step one is always my Hangover 3-in-1 spray from Too Faced. This is my go-to if you do not know. I use this in almost all of my videos. I love this thing so much. It just works really, really well with my skin. I am getting a lot more into skincare and how I take care of my skin, so I'm very wary of these things now. So I'm just going to dab this in pushing outward on the face instead of inward because you don't want to look like that. <laughs> when choosing a foundation for a nice glowy look, you do not want something um, matte and full coverage. You just want something medium to light cover, said the backward, light to medium coverage because you do want to keep the glow in your face. So I'm going in with the L'Oreal True Match Foundation and I do have self tanner on my neck and my legs but not my arms yet. I don't know why I haven't done that yet. But, um, so I am kind of a mix of both of these N3 and N2 shades, so I'm just gonna mix those together. And I'm going to try my best not to get this on my white crew neck. <laughs> also, if your foundation does not have SPF in it, which is sunscreen, um, I would recommend always using sunscreen to put on, oh, that was a lot, oops. Anyway, I would always recommend putting sunscreen on before your foundation if your foundation does not have it in it, especially in the spring and summertime that is coming up because you do want to protect your skin. The UV rays and of the sun do cause fine lines, wrinkles, and it's just really harsh on the face. So you want to make sure you are taking care of your skin. I used to never do this, which is why my skin got so bad. One of the reasons why my skin got so bad. Once the foundation is on, I am going to go ahead and put on the concealer, but I am going to let it sit just for a little bit because what I have found, um, if you have oily skin, um, I have oily skin most of the time, mine's more combination, but more on the oily side, like I said earlier, but if I put the concealer on and immediately blend it out, it just takes away the foundation that's underneath. So. What I found is if I leave it on for just a little bit, let it sit there, and then blend it out, it does keep that coverage that you want. So normally I would use my Too Faced Born This Way concealer, but it is super coverage, and since this is more of a glowy look, we do not want something full coverage. If you do prefer that though, of course you can go that route, but how I like to do my glowy looks is just something not as full coverage as how I would normally do it. So I'm gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Ivory, which is number five. 
while I'm waiting for this to just kind of sit for a little bit, I am going to start doing my brows. So I always brush through my brows. Again, when I was first starting doing makeup, I never did this. It showed, okay? Like it really did. I didn't think it would. I didn't think it did, but it did. So I always started brushing through my brows before I did my brows. So my brows I do just like how I normally do. I am going to just like fast forward through this section because I have a video on my brows if you wanna see how I do them. The video link will be in the description if you wanna watch that. Once the brows are done and this has been sitting on my face for a while, um, I'm just going to go ahead and blend this. And then I use whatever left on the beauty blender, just on the tip of my nose and up the bridge. Then for powder, I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 220 Natural Beige. My shades of my powders, concealers, and foundations are just kind of all over the place, but it works for some reason. But I'm just gonna go in with this big fluffy brush from It Cosmetics. I like using fluffy brushes for my powder. It just goes a lot faster and they feel nice, I don't know. <laughs> then when I do underneath my eyes, because obviously as you can see, my under eyes do get creasy and oily and shiny, and not in the good way. So I'm gonna take just a lighter shade. This is 120, it is a significantly significantly lighter shade, but again, shade ranges all over the place. And I'm gonna take my handy dandy beauty blender. I'm gonna go in there and go underneath my eyes with that. I just, as you can see, the difference, the difference. I just like to use a lighter shade underneath my eyes just to keep that highlight we gave from the concealer so the highest points of our face are still being highlighted. If I use the same powder for underneath my eyes, just what we did with the concealer just kind of became pointless and went away. Then for bronzer, I'm going to use my all-time favorite bronzer go-to. If you watch my videos, you know I love the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. It's my favorite. I will forever use this. I will forever have it in my makeup collection. I am just in love. It smells like summer, it's great. I'm using this really jank brush I got from Marshalls <laughs> like two years ago. I just kind of do it sideways like this from the top of my cheekbone to like the middle almost of my ear on the outside. And then when I go, I also am doing this really lightly. And then when I go down, I turn it so it's vertical. So the slant is going through the cheekbone and I just go right underneath that cheekbone. So it's not just one straight line. It kind of goes from big to small blends and makes it look nicer. Um, what I used to do was just bad. Um, I don't even know what I used to do for being honest. Start about right here. I don't, wherever that is, and I go up from there. I like to just make it like that. I go from the same starting point and go down like so. Just kind of blend that out a little bit. And then the same thing on the other side. I like to, on the very tip of my nose, leaving like that spot open for highlight, but I just make a little V and then a straight line under there, like that. Um, again, could be better at this whole thing but I'm getting there okay you gotta start somewhere I just use this to blend this out and you don't want to blend inward because this is the highlight of your nose so like you don't want to you know take that away as of now this is what we have this is what we got this is what we got okay okay for my 
eyeshadow looks, I just like to keep them nice and simple, especially in the summertime. If I even wear eyeshadow in the summertime, a lot of the times I just don't. I just throw on some mascara and call it a day for the most part. I go in with chai, like the latte, I think. There is a little bit of pigment from the last time I used this brush, which I should have cleaned off before doing this, but it's okay, you know, you know, it's fine. Because I was going to go in with that color anyway, that color is just amber right here. Recently, um, I've just, blah, blah, blah. I've been loving the simple two shade eyeshadow look. So I use like a crease color and then something for the lid. So when I do a nice glowy, um, eyeshadow look, I like to use a shimmery shade. Why did that take me so long? I also, if I don't have an eyeshadow palette with me, if I'm traveling or whatever, um, I have my highlighter with me at all times, like always. That's, I, I will not forget my highlighter. I'll forget anything else, but I will not forget my highlighter. <laughs> just use the highlighter as the shimmer shade on my lid. I'm just applying this with like a flat brush. You can use your finger if you really want to, like, what I love about summer makeup is that it doesn't matter. Like literally nothing matters. And that is literally all I do for the eyeshadow. I normally don't like to do a lot of eyeliner in the spring and summer for whatever reason. Um, so sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. It just really depends on the mood, where I'm going, what I'm doing, you know, you know how it goes. But for today, I'm just gonna show you what I normally do, which is mascara. So I'm using the Fully Charged Mascara from, I need to learn how to pronounce things. That's what it looks like. I did get this in an Ipsy subscription um, when I had that. I don't have it anymore just cause it was kind of too much. But I do really, really love this mascara. Most in part, the most in part of this glowy makeup look. I, Normally for like full coverage matte looks, I use the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, but since this is more dewy and glowy, I'm gonna use the same thing I use for my primer, which is the Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. Again, this is just like one of the best purchases I've ever made in my life. I'm just gonna spritz my face. I forgot to breathe. And I'm just going to let this dry. For highlighter with a dewy look, I use lots of things. So I first like to go in with a more pinkish toned highlighter at first, just on the cheeks. So I, I wish I could tell you what brand this is from, um, but it's called Moon Dust. <laughs> and I'm just gonna do this on the cheekbones. Now this is a warm toned highlighter. This is the Butter Highlighter from Physicians Formula. I've talked about it before, I always use this. And then I also take a small brush. It looks like this. Um, it's from BS Mall. I think that's how you say it. You can also use your finger for this step, but I just dip this in there and put this in the inner corners of my eye. Last but not least, I'm going to do lip gloss. And when I do gloss um, for a shimmery look, I'd like to do something that's just nice and clear so it doesn't have a tint to it. So this is the Too Faced Lip Injection Gloss, and obviously I use this all the time. I really, really love dewy, glowy looks, especially during the spring and summer, and even when spring and summer is just first starting, I love it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. I am going to be uploading twice this week because I have been slacking on my uploading. Hmm. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day enjoy your day make today the best day that you can possibly make it because today is the only today wow i just said today like four times in that one sentence. i will see you very 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 soon